Gordon, January the 30th, 2016, you picked up your first major singles title at the Australian Open. What impact has that had on your life, both off and on the court? Yeah, it's had a, a huge impact uh, on and off the court. Um, yeah, I had a lot more uh, kind of media interest and uh, attention after after my win in Melbourne. Um, you know, as well as as uh, on the court, it's, it's given me you know a lot of a lot of confidence and, and belief in my own game. Um, you know, being able to compete at, at that higher level and and actually finally uh, win a, a singles event at that at a Grand Slam title. I think I always believed that. I had the ability um, to, you know, to actually go on and win a Grand Slam, but to then go and, and do it and, and physically achieve that, uh, you know, it does give you that inner belief, uh, you know, the knowledge that you've done it before, so why can't you do it again? Off the back of your recent success, you've secured your first corporate sponsorship deal with McRae Financial Services. How important will their support be moving forward? Yeah, it's an, a really exciting time for me at the moment uh, to announce the the new um, relationship with McRae, uh, you know, uh, they've got a, a long history in um, sporting um, sponsorship and uh, with, uh, with the Glasgow Warriors and Partick Thistle as well, so I'm really happy to, to come on board with that team uh, and I'm looking forward to, to what that's going to bring in the future. But yeah, it's, uh, it's very important for me to have them on board because it's not a, it's not a, a cheap thing to do, fly around the world and, and play tennis all year round, so that's definitely going to be a big help for me. Um, you know, alongside the other kind of support that they're going to give me. Um, and just, uh, yeah, it's going to give me the, f the extra access to facilities in my training that I wouldn't have had before and that ho should hopefully make that a little bit of difference in, in the kind of big tournaments this year. It's an exciting few months ahead for you. Let's start with the French Open, where you'll be defending your doubles major title, which you won last year. That was your very first major. You must be looking forward to that. Fond memories from last year. Yeah, definitely. I've got good memories of uh, you know the clay court courts out there in Paris after last year winning my first doubles Grand Slam out there. So I'm looking forward to to going back and um, it'll also be the first time I've I've had the chance to go out and play Grand Slam matches after my win in Australia. So yeah, and it's an exciting time ahead. And Wimbledon follows shortly after that, where you'll compete in the first men's singles wheelchair event. That'll be a big target for you. Definitely, yeah. Um, it's the first time. That wheelchair tennis has had a singles event at Wimbledon. I think we've had uh, doubles for the last 10 years, um, but it's the first time they've included now singles into that as well. So, yeah, it's really, really exciting for, for us as wheelchair tennis players and also just to play in front of the, the British crowd. Uh, you know, Wimbledon was the, the tournament that I grew up watching on TV, uh, and, you know, doubles is, is brilliant to play there, but I think singles is going to be even more special. And then, of course, you've got the Rio Paralympics in September, where you'll be competing for the gold medal in the singles and the doubles. That'll be a big aim for you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's the, my third Paralympics. Um, obviously, I'm only 24, so I started quite young in Beijing and then London. It um, was an amazing opportunity. And I got to the quarterfinals there. And uh, now, yeah, Rio. Um, obviously, it's, it's very special to compete in, for Paralympics GB and... You know, to have GB on the back of your shirt, it gives you kind of extra motivation and, and drive to, to try and do well. Um, but this is definitely the, the best opportunity I've had at Paralympic Games. It's the highest ranked I'm going to go into one and uh, definitely the, the most confident I've gone and going to one. So, yeah, I'll uh, be, be doing all I can from now till then to, to try and get in that podium.